So let me show you guys how this works. So the horse comes up to the drinking post. There's no electricity. They push this float down and you can see water starts to come up and fill it up. When the horse is finished drinking, they release the, the float valve here and water starts draining back down. This is how this can work in the winter time with no electrical. So one of the number one reasons why I bought this is because I had to, because I wasn't able to get electricity all the way out here. So I came across these at the expo in, in North Dakota um, and they showed me how they worked and I was like, are you sure? Are you sure these won't freeze up in the winter time? I was pretty skeptical. Um, I just could believe that this thing could work in the winter time without electricity. Um, but if you've ever used like the frost free hydrants where you, you turn the handle up, water comes out, you push the handle back down, water goes back down and it works throughout the winter. Well, these are operating off the same, same principle. And so it's really incredible how well they work. Um, the other part I was unsure about is how much training would it take to, for the horse to figure out? Well, the horses figure this out very quickly. Um, it didn't take them long at all. They, they push it down. You know, basically we would bring them in after working with them. We'd push this down for a second, get water to start. Once they know water's there, it's kind of natural for them to play with this with their nose. And so it just, the training part was super, super easy. Um, the other thing that I love about this is we used to have water troughs out here and we actually would have trouble with horses colicking because they didn't like the water because it was hot and kind of gross, even though we cleaned them a couple times a week. And so this produces, you know, ground temperature water, which is about 52 degrees every time consistently. There's no standing water, so there's no birds that are, that are uh, defecating in it or making a mess. There's no algae growing. They're just super easy. So they got fresh, clean water. I mean, all the you time. You can't beat that it's fresh water. So your horses are gonna drink more water and stay hydrated much better with this. They were super easy to install. Um, all you do is run a water line. You connect it up at the bottom. We use PEX line and a crimper. It was just, it was just a piece of cake. Um, to install compared to the ones with electricity where we had to bury an electric cable and hook all that up. And um, so, so this was simple enough, even I could <laughs> install these. Um, so we actually ended up installing four of these on our property here. Um, and then we just, you know, kind of split it between the fence so the horses can come up and from either side. So I've been super happy with all that. There was only one thing that we ran into, which is the, there's a filter um, at the very base of this where the water first comes into it and the holes are really small for the water to come in and that is to filter out any anything that might be coming out now i'm out here in the country and we're working off a well system and so that means that every once in a while because there's no filter between the well pump so long story and short this. once in a while there is little specks of things that come up and um, when we initially installed them we kind of stirred up the well pump because we were changing some things and anyways there was some debris that so it took us a little while to figure that out that there's some debris coming in um, so that was the only thing, but once you get that cleared up, it's amazing of how well they work um, and, and how efficient they are. They are super easy to clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the water off and I wanna take this out and I'll show you how easy it is to clean this thing out. So um, we're at a, a different one here that we installed. And so I'm gonna show you guys how we did this. All you do is twist out this inside part here. this part right here and you can see we got a little bit of debris again we were messing with our well and so this has been the only thing that we ran into a little bit of trouble with <laughs> but the problem wasn't with drinking post it was with our our well and uh, because we were upgrading our house system we were just the well was kicking on and off on and off a lot so to put it back in all you do slide it back down You know, and if you wanted to clean off the, the bowl here or something like that, you could do all that right now as well. It'd be pretty easy. And that's it. Good to go again. Just got to turn the water back on, and uh, these horses will have some fresh water ready to go. So you can see the horse just kind of plays with it and pushes it down with their nose, and then they can take a drink. You can kind of zoom in on that. So simple, simple for them to use. They love it. I think they drink a lot more water now than they used to. So to kind of summarize, we are thrilled with drinking post waters. We've installed four of them on our property. I'm super excited to see how well they work in the winter. I've already checked it out. They, they use them all over 
uh, North Dakota, Canada, places that get even colder than where we're at here in Wisconsin. Our frost line typically goes down a couple of feet, um, but we do have to bury the lines to six feet just to uh, be sure, just in case we had an abnormally hard winter and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking out Drinking Post Waters. So make sure you guys check them out. They're a fantastic product. We're very happy with them and uh, they have great customer service. So hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll see you on the next one.